Welcome in the 13th episode of our Power Matching Game tutorial. In today's episode, we will address two issues inside the game. So the first issue is inside our set game menu. When you start the game for the first time, you are forced to select the pair numbers and then category you want to play to start the game. So then if you go back to our set game menu, if you press either of the button now, the game will start automatically, which is not correct. You should always be forced to select the pair numbers and then category you want to play. So this is not the case now. As you see, the game started without selecting the categories. So this is the first issue we will fix. And another thing is, if you remember from the previous episode, when before we flipping back the pictures, we stopping the main thread from executing. So this temporary solution works fine to, to stop and then uh, let the player see the pictures. But this will cause the, the issue, like sometimes the picture will not rotate back. Okay, so if you will play this game very quickly, sometimes you will end up in the situation like two pictures stays on the board without rotating back. So this is another thing which we're gonna solve. Okay, so let's get started. Let's open our project and let's first of all go to our scripts folder and then open the button behavior script. So inside the script, I will add one more public function, so it's going to be public void reset game settings. Okay, and this is going to be simple function. We're going to call the game settings dot instance dot reset game settings, and that's it. So let's save everything now, and let's go back to Unity go to our scenes folder and then open the game scene and then let's select the canvas back button and then let's go to our on click event and i will click the small plus then drag and drop our main camera and from the functions select the button behavior and then the re reset game settings okay so now let's go to the file save and then let's go back to the main menu so this should fix our issue with this uh, with the set game scene. So let's start. So first of all, for the first time, we have to select the pair and the category. We're going back. We selected the category and the game didn't start yet. We have to select the pairs. Okay, let's do it the other way around. Everything seems to be working fine. Okay, so that should be should be okay. So now let's remove this uh, this suspending of the main thread from executing. So let's go back to our scripts folder and this time I'm going to open the picture manager. Okay, so inside our picture manager script, right at the top, I will add one more uh, private variable, which is going to be private bool coroutine started and I will just set it to false. Okay, and then let's go back to our flipback function. So as you see inside the flipback function, we are stopping our main thread from executing. So let's just remove this, remove this line, and I will just put our coroutine started variable and set it to true. And then at the end of this function, I will set the same variable to false. And now let's change the return type. So instead of the returning void, we're going to return the i enumerator. And then after we set this uh, variable, we're going to call yield return new wait for seconds. And I will just pass 0.5f. Okay. So we're going to so we're going to wait for 500 milliseconds before we continue. Okay, so now let's uh, let's go back to our update method where we're calling this flipback function. And inside this f statement, I will put the end coroutine started is equal to false. Okay, and then we, we need to put this flipback function call inside our start coroutine. So we just put start start coroutine 
and I will just pass this flip back function. Okay, so now the game should work the same as it as it was previously. So let's save everything and let's go back to Unity and then let's start. Press play, I will select 10 pairs. Okay, and then let's try to as you see you can you can rotate multiple puzzles. Okay, let's try to remove the pair. So I just remove this pair. And as you see, the game didn't work properly here because we had another pair, but the pair wasn't recognized and then one puzzle is not rotated back. Okay, so this is another thing which we need to solve now. So let's stop this project and let's go back to our picture manager. And this, this, this issue is caused by our delete function. So destroy picture function in our picture manager. We have our system threading and we're slipping the main thread for 200 milliseconds, which we probably don't want to do. So let's remove this line of code from here. And then let's save this class. And now let's go back to our picture script. And then right at the bottom, we have our deactivate function. So if we leave everything like that, all of the pictures will be will be disabled straight away. So when you have a pair, you will not have a time to actually see what is on the on the picture because they will disappear. So we're going to fix it by adding a one more function. So I will add private i enumerator and then I will call it deactivate coroutine. Okay, and then inside this deactivate coroutine, let's first of all reset our revealed variable. So revealed will be equal to false. And then we want to do yield return new wait for seconds. And this time I will add one F. So we're going to wait for one second. And then we're going to call the game object dot set active and we're going to pass false. Okay, and then we want to inside our deactivate function, we want to remove this call. And we want to call the start coroutine. And then we want to pass our deactivate coroutine. Okay, so that should fix the issue. Let's save everything now. And let's go back to Unity. And then let's press play. Okay, let's press play. Then let's select the time pairs, maybe fruits. And then let's try to locate the pair. Okay, so the pair is here. So let's select the pair and then reveal another pictures. So everything is rotating back. Okay, so as you see, even if you select multiple puzzles, Every, all of the puzzle just going back. Okay, so select another pairs. As you see, even if you select multiple puzzles, everything is going back. So everything seems to be working fine at this point. So that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we will start to implement our leaderboard and then our settings. So thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next episode.